Hey guys, welcome back to more PGA Tour, and um, we're going to do the same thing that we did in the last episode. We're going to uh, just play the final round of TPC Scottsdale, the uh, Waste Management. I think it's called the Waste Management Open? Pretty sure. Anyway, we are six behind the lead, and I'm not sure if it happened at the end of the last episode or if I did it off camera, but I got a upgraded ball reward so now our ball has uh 45 in all the stats instead of 25 so that should add a little bit of distance as well as control we'll see how that goes i'm pretty sure we at least have not played with that ball yet. ea sports and the pga tour so proud to present the season-long race for the fedex cup from the base of the McDowell Mountains and TPC Scottsdale, live final round coverage of the WM Phoenix Open. Here in the Valley ah, of the, the Phoenix Sun, Open. the temperatures are up, the scores are down, as we take a look at the leaderboard on this Sunday. Patton Kazire is the leader. He's off to a good start at six under. Meanwhile, our featured golfer looking to cobble together a solid round here on this fine Sunday. It's funny how they're like talking so down on you that you haven't even had a chance to play yet. <laughs> like this is our first round. Well, our featured golfers. Ugh, we'll we'll see if he manages something. Maybe. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. Well, you know, we can't all be superstars. That is not drawing as much as I was hoping. That is... That's in the rough. That's in the rough rough. And that is going to miss the fairway as his opening tee shot is in At the rough. At least it's not it's in okay. the not desert. Ideal, but it's um, worse. manageable from there. Just do a finesse shot. That's fine. And we will... Wow, that uh, green is sloping hard. Whew. Okay, okay. Let's do some spin because we're kind of the wind working against us. We'll land it uh, just past. And. No, you know what? There. We'll be putting uphill, hopefully. Oh, this could be good. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Oh, that was a good strike. Took it straight at it, too. That one bounce and check. Well played. Not putting okay, uphill, but well I'll take it anyway. A birdie to kick off the round. Sure. I mean, why definitely not? Just not have a birdie. Say no to that. On to the second, a 442-yard par four. Longer hitters can try and take advantage of the downslope, 285 yards off the tee, but that brings those two deep fairway bunkers on the right into play. Okay, so it's got a speed slot, but it's, the speed slot's kind of protected by the. By the bunkers, yeah. Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna get there. That's no problem. No problem. We'll go slightly towards this side. Maybe. Yeah. That should be good. That one gonna be in great shape. So following the birdie at one, a solid drive here at the second. Yeah, not, that's not bad at all. Oh, hammered that tee shot into the narrowest section of this fairway. Got a great chance to clip this iron shot and get it close. Mm, we're going to... Oh, that's the best wedge. No, uh, we are going to have to switch to a pitching wedge. And I'm going to reduce the spin since we're going into the wind. We land it somewhere near the hole. Oh, yeah. Uh, could have just done with a little bit more for breakfast. Just a little short. Maybe I'm doing harsh. It's a good shot. You complaining about me doing a, getting it six feet from the hole? Come on, man. Yes. Can't ask for a better start to a round than this. It is back-to-back -back birdies at one and two. 
it will certainly help the cause. Now on to the third, first par five on the course here at TPC Scottsdale. Yeah, the length of the hole hasn't really changed. Uh, it used to be two fairway bunkers down the left, now there's only one. Still a hazard that runs down the right side. A strategic hold if you can't make this par five and two in a brand new green that has been completely changed. I would like to argue that um, I completely forgot what I was going to argue about. Never mind. I was going to argue about something that they uh, that they said, but uh, I can't remember. So, you know, they, they get away with it for now. Okay, that's going to be safely in the fairway, and that's where you need to play. I for absolutely the love the checkered crisscross uh, from the fairway um, style check in with the, the way the Keyshot fairway's been cut. has given the player a chance to go for this green in two. Just have to be mindful of covering the ravine, which protects the entire front part mm -hmm. of the green. Oof. What are we? How are we going to do this? I think we want to do like a. A draw. Oh boy, that's. I mean, we can cut a three wood in there. It's going to run off the back of the green. What do we have to deal with back there? There is a slight backstop, but this is that's going to fly right off of it, isn't it? I don't know. I'm gonna try it. I don't know. I don't know what's gonna how this is gonna end. That's in the bunker. But it bounced out. And it's rolling. And it's actually gonna make it back on the green almost. Uh, and that second shot on this par five, it just came out too low. Came out like a bullet. That first bounce, it wasn't gonna stop. Second bounce wasn't gonna stop. And just ran over the back. Do I wanna do Flop. Hmm. Maybe? Do a high spinning flop shot. Lightly past the hole. Oh. Wow. Okay. Could just flop shot it right into the hole. Yeah, no sweat. It is a birdie here at the third. And he will definitely not say no to that. Here now at the par three fourth. Frank, what's the setup here? Plays a little downhill, so it won't play its full 180 yards. You can perhaps uh, take one club off the uh, decision off the tee. The green, as you can see now, is a little wider than what it was deep. Um, the bunkering, though, is, uh, is certainly excellent. There. A little pop bunker on the right side. One there if you come up a little short. And there's another one on the left side, should you pull your tee shot. We want lots of spin on this, and I want to land it basically right at the hole. Mm, maybe a little, a little short, because it is going to roll a bit. I'm going to hit that a little bit too hard, but it might work out. Indeed, it might work out quite well. We're running out more than I'd like, but okay, a friendly bounce yeah. there, and that will make its way well, onto land the putting up in, surface. End up in the uh, bunker. Now this for birdie. And these are the putts you drill when you're on the putting green before the round. This should have a good chance to go Ooh. in. No. Yeah, he would have liked that to fall, but he needed to gun it just a little more. Okay, that one finished off. It's a par here at four, and he'll stay at minus three. Frank, this is a demanding driving hole, the par four fifth. Another hole that bends gently to the left. There used to be two bunkers down the right side. It's now one, and it's in the perfect position to make you think about your tee shot. Really, you have to be left of that. The new tee's added a little bit of yardage to it. The green still looks the same as what it once was. Tilt slightly from left to right. But you can see why a draw, a draw is the preferred shot at TPC Scottsdale. A draw or draw? A draw or draw? Uh, let's go right in the middle of the fairway, pretty much. Uh, 
Yeah, that should be okay. A little bit on the left side. But... Okay, that's going to be safely in the fairway, and that's where you need to play from if you're going to make a final round surge from the fairway. Let's go to Noda. The fifth always plays one of the most difficult holes at TPC Scottsdale, so finding the fairway gives you the green light to go ahead and try and make a three. I'm just going to... You know what? Let's do a little bit of spin. I'm going to do, like, just nothing, just, like, right in the middle, but... Oh... Thank well, you. Rich, I didn't expect this sort of uh, fireworks here today, but already with some birdies on the card and another one here by the looks of things. Yes, a good read. It's a birdie here at five. Will certainly help the cause. And we got ready to tee off now at the seven six. under, this and they are not left. in the clubhouse. And another yet. hole that's being stiffened by bunkers on both the left and the right side, uh, really giving you the decision on what club to hit. Should you be bold or should you be smart? Well, I'm not smart, so. But I mean, basically, I don't have a lot of options anyway because I can't. Uh, I can't drive it that far. We're going to have a little bit of a curve to this. Oh, that's way more draw. Uh, well, okay. Mm, yeah. And that, not what you're hoping for, especially after the birdie a minute ago, as this is into the bunker. Goodness so a second so shot note of from the bunker trying to take an aggressive line off the tee and carry the bunker up the left didn't pull it off now in no man's land needing a miracle to find the green All right, we're gonna we're gonna come at a fair bit of an angle so I'm gonna do spin wait right, where where to go it is so hard to see and it's aiming over there um Sure, something like that. Oh, that shot took some guile, nerves, confidence to hit it out of that fairway bunker. Guile, guile nerves, feet. and confidence. That's as good as anyone on the PGA Tour. Oh, oh, hold your head. Oh, uh, that just skirts the outside edge. That's mm. a tough break. Safely in for par here at the six, and he'll remain at four under. On to the par three seventh, 215 yards from that back tee box, Frank. This hole hasn't really changed. Still has that V-shaped green where it's very narrow in the front. Uh, a high-flying shot in here that carries that front edge, and you'll find the further and further well, you go back there, the more receptive, and that Ten green starts to widen. Us. Uh huh. Well, that finesse shot is going to go right off the green. We're going to do high fade. We're going to drop it to a four iron. What angle is that coming in at? Well, we're going to. We'll see how this ends up. I'm not sure. Oh, that's going to blow way over unless it slows down. Nope, it's going to go off. But that actually wasn't bad. That really wasn't bad at all. Boy, just far too strong with a tee shot there, and this winds up flying the green. Second shot now here at the par three. I'm honestly pretty happy with that. It was... Not an easy shot. Oh, oh, go in. Oh. Oh, what's oh, two inches touch from the right hole? There. Very <laughs> well done. Hard to do much better than that. It was nearly perfect. That one finished off. It'll be a par here at seven. Whew. And that was remain almost right where he is. 
Up next, the 475-yard par four. I think it might actually left dog that leg bit. left. Ideally, you want to shape a right to left shot to catch a down slope on the fairway. But watch out for the two bunkers on the left. Par from there would be a big ask. So we want to draw it. High draw, low draw. Uh, wind is helping a little. We'll try something like that. That's drawing more than I would like. Work this up that left hand side. Oh boy. Well, we're in the rough. So that sets up a tougher second shot, missing the fairway with the drive, now in the rough. I don't know how hacks um, react. Oh, it's got an absolutely massive range that it... Can't I just do a regular finesse shot? I think so. Um, hmm. Spin? Is that going to be close enough? I'm going to do a bit of a fade. I'm, just, I'm, not, I'm not really sure where that's going to end up. I think it's going to probably roll a bit, so let's try it out. Oh, yeah. I mean, from there, not bad. Ah, good shot again there. Well thought out. Landing the ball short, letting the ball run onto the green. And inside, well, I'd call that a birdie putt. So that's birdie range. Hold your head, hold your head. All oh, right, and oh, hard. No problem. Beautiful. All the pace perfect. It is in for birdie. And he will definitely not say no to that. So we got one that is well, the key eight here under at the now. Four ninth as you close out this front side with the 453 yard hole is to keep it away from those two bunkers down the right hand side. If you do that, then you have a pretty clear approach shot. And keep in mind there is a ridge that sort of bisects the middle of this green. Mm. Okay. Thanks for the warning. Oh, that's going more right than I would have liked. I think it's going to be okay. Yeah. He just keeps motoring right along. Another good tee shot right there. From the fairway, we check in with Noda. Fairway at the ninth, one of the widest on the golf course. So ball easily finds the fairway. Now can take dead aim at this whole location to this narrow green. Oops. Um, I landed a little short. Yeah, hit it a little bit harder than I would have liked, but it might work out. Okay, that's all right. And that's a good approach shot too. Just a little left. I'm actually the glad I hit it that hard. Now this for another birdie. Oh. No. Good lord. So close. Almost closed out the front the front nine at six under. <laughs> okay, that's in for his par. You're at Ooh, the nine. That would have been nice. And that is gonna go in the books as a 30 on the front side. Five under par. This 10th hole is really all about strategy and good decision making. It's a hard dog leg to the right, and you have a couple of options. You can, can I bounce the it off with the... a driver. Off uh, of but the, then you're uh, contending with there. a small bunker <laughs> and some trees if you miss hit it. Or you can go with a fairway wood, but if you're offline, well, then you bring the bunkers on both sides into play. Oh, what's all the dreaming about? Let's go high fade. Mm, I hope that doesn't go in the bunker. Oh, right for the bunker. Yeah, let's just sit in the rough. Perfect. Well, first cut. And that tee shot finds the first cut. But really, with that second shot, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. 
reduce the spin, land it right at the hole, pretty much. Oh, that's a little weak. Get over that bunker. Okay. I mean, and this ball not quite gonna be a GIR. It'll come to rest on the fringe. We are two. No. Okay. How far are we? Two. Is it, is it three yards? Hmm. I'm te I'm tempted to do Texas wedge, but I don't actually know how to do a Texas wedge well enough. That's as short of a chip as I can do. Go in! Oh, he had designs on making that. Couldn't quite get it to go, but that was well judged. Yeah, sometimes the speed can get away on you just a little bit, but really, got it just right. Okay. Moving on to the 11th hole, Frank Water all along the left side, 472 yards. How do you handle this one? Well, this one's weird because the tees are a little off center. They start down the right side, which makes it into a dog leg. Oh, and, uh, lovely You mentioned location. the water, it always comes mm. into play. And there are zero fairway bunkers. You don't need them here at 11 because really it's all about the tee shot. Find the fairway, then uh, even though it's a long par four, you should be able to at least attack that green safely. Miss the fairway to the right, which is the barrel outside, and your problems are just starting. Her for me. Yeah, that's good. Uh, it all looks so simple when you're going good, doesn't it? And that is yet another solid drive. I love how almost all these the drives are over 300 over. yards. Great tee it's shot here nice. at the 11th. Now has a chance to go at the okay. whole location on Lots the left of spin. half of the green, but have to be concerned about the water that the wraps around the is back side. Kind of terrible. Hmm. I'm literally going to have to flirt with disaster over here. That's going to be short, way short. Oh. Well, huh. had a good look at the green. Okay. Well, we couldn't cash it in. In the rough now, wondering what might have been. Oh, no, we need to get it past. Get it just a bit past the um, fringe. Ah, that's going to roll out. Too bad. Well, obviously that's not his best, but it'll be quickly forgotten, Frank. Leave if he's able to get out of here with his par, here. Well, you might forget it. I won't. <laughs> Far from his best. Go in. Oh no, that is not going to help us get to the top of the leaderboard. Safely in. Yeah, it's a bogey here at number eleven, and that's going to drop him back to four under par. Hmm. Arriving now at the beautiful 192-yard par 312, featuring a peninsula green with water hugging the right side and two deep bunkers protecting the left. Nest shot. Going to drop to a five iron there. Going to do lots of spin. Angle, I would say we're gonna drop it around here. That's too long. Stop. Mm. Mm, okay. This is gonna roll off the Not back quite. of the green, but it's gonna end up in a good spot. Now, from a tight line, this is second. to the side. Let's do that. With all the elements of his game have been in sync today, a terrific shot right there. It's all about getting it inside that three-foot circle around the hole. That was a really nice shot. That one safely in. It's here, I'm like, here ugh, 12. that was a terrible shot. And, and they're like, stay, it was great. Right where he is. 
Par 5, 13th, chance for birdie or maybe even eagle if you're bold and brave enough, but also, Frank, chance for disaster here? Well, there is. Water very much in play down the right side. There's a bunker down the left, too. If you finish up in that, there's no way you're going for this par 5 and 2. Then it becomes a little bit of a zigzag mission. Um, the second shot either has to be hit down the right side, just skirting that bunker in the front, or it has to be all carry. Mm. All carry, you say. Okay, let's land it more or less in the middle of the fairway. Oh, that's not quite right, but uh, might be okay. Ooh. All right. Just. In the fairway. Just. Ah, that was close. I don't think I'm going to be able to carry it there. I think. Actually, I can. That's kind of crazy. But realistically, I'm going... If I did it like that, I would actually... I draw. This is going to be the angle that's going to come in at. And if I go over here, mm, yeah, that's just not. That's just not going to work, is it? Well, I don't know. I don't know how this is going to end up. Oh, well, I could also massively underhit it and just land it. Uh, okay, you know what? That's Had the actually not right, terrible. Just a tad offline. How about the chances for getting it up and down from that spot? Yeah, it's not in that thick stuff, Rich, so that's um, advantage number one. Really, the lie's pretty good. I think it's a standard pitch. Um, let's do spin. And let's land it just slightly past the hole. Yeah. That's okay. Shot I think this is par shot. five, right? More so we still have a chance. That beautiful touch. A great opportunity here for Birdie. Oh, thank goodness. Mm, confidently done there. That's in for Birdie here at 13. And he's going to try and make a late charge here, down four. Oh, good lord. Redmond's at remaining. nine under now. We come now to the 490-yard par four. I almost 14. have to birdie Quite every as hole. as intimidating as number 11, but every bit as demanding. Uh, I don't After think we're going to win this one, guys. players hit into a green sitting precariously on what was once a spectator's mound. Par is a great score here. Well, let's do a bit of a low draw. Boy, the rhythm is definitely there today. Another wonderful tee shot. Yeah, even that rolled out to 302. I was expecting that to actually the be short. The heart of the fairway, 180 yards in. Okay. Lots of spin, landing it short of the green, short of the hole, because it's going to roll. Uh, land it a little bit on that side. And it might be too hard, or it might be okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. I couldn't have... Couldn't have placed it any better than that. The game becomes easy when you're putting for birdie from that close. Another rolled in there. Birdie's now at 13 and 14. And he moves to within okay, three. Okay, Matsuyama is in to play. at nine right, under. Frank, now the fun begins. We are teed up at the par 5 15th hole. Plenty to talk about here. Yeah, the fairway down the left side is anything other than straight. It's more like a shipwreck, the raggedness of it. And that water in play, well, if you do find one on the fairway, you can sort of always wave across to the people that are walking down the 11th hole. Find the fairway, you can reach this par 5 and 2. A little bit of an island-looking green there, bunker on the left, and also another bunker just short right. But 
a fairway missed here. Well, you can rack up five, six, seven. We've seen all sorts of scores here at 15. And that will be more than number, number one done. Safely into the fairway. I don't. Hmm. Well, <laughs> that's a little, that's a little dangerous there, isn't it? Hmm. Um, do we want to, oh, look at that. We can actually pretty much land it. Okay, I'm going to. Uh, we're gonna try. This is probably gonna roll. I was thinking about laying up, but I mean, might as well. Yeah, that rolled a little bit further than I like, but we're basically in the middle of the green. Got a 25 foot putt for eagle. Man. Didn't fly it there, but didn't have to. Got everything he needed out of that shot. Is he gonna do it? <gasps> oh, so oh, close! I definitely took a look. A perfectly weighted putt, nearly an eagle. Oh, how about the run here? That a third consecutive birdie, and he's gonna fight this out till the end. Now, two uh, back. Ah, yeah, the big stadium uh, thing. This this hole is crazy. Seen this on TV. Well, here we are at the yeah. 16th hole, looking at just over 160 yards. Doesn't seem all that daunting, Frank. Uh, I, I love he was doing all of that, and the cheer, um, people. people were cheering, and there's like Born literally nobody in the stadium, in the stadium desert, at all. That makes it a different story. <laughs> it certainly is. This was one hole, too, where Tom Watson would send his caddy forward. Oh, and there they are. back by 15. His caddy would get his yardage. Watson would simply walk on the tee. His caddy would give him the club. He would not go through his normal routine. He would simply just head away. It was one hole that he never wanted to think about. It might look simple, but it's what the player feels. That is too hard. Got too excited with the crowd. But it might actually work out. Oh, one of the best shots of the day. And that'll get to 20,000 plus to their feet. That was something else. Now, everything going right now. That a fourth consecutive birdie. And things are getting bunched at the top. He pulls two within After one all of that, it would have been so funny if that, that was well, like a, short, a, a, a hole in are all the rage in golf, but the designers here at TPC Scottsdale, Jay Morris and Tom Weisskopf, were really ahead of the curve. This was one of the first, and it still remains one of the best. Short par fours in the game, all about risk and reward. How far are we talking here? Okay. I'm going to want to roll it. Go low fade. Something like, something like that. And hopefully it'll roll onto the green. I don't know. We'll see. We'll land right in the bunker. Nope. We're good. That's a good drive right there at 17, and that'll leave him with a chance to get something close and maybe grab a share of the lead. So not a whole lot left to go here as he'll set up his second with his par four. Um, no, we want a long flop, high flop, regular flop. Um, I think we want... Oops. Long flop. I mean, what exactly is the difference between these? Okay, the high flop is going to come in at a steeper angle. Um, let's let's do a high flop. Land it with. No spin? Maybe no spin. And land it basically at the hole. 
Let's see what happens with that. Yeah, that's good. Really good. I'm loving this round of golf. More shots, more touch. Another uh, why are you there. standing Chance now. there Another staring at me? There. There's another one. It's five birdies in a row. Will certainly help the cause. What an outstanding finishing hold here at TPC Scottsdale. Not overly long, but it is challenging. At 442 yards, this par four is all about strategy. You can challenge the lake on the left if you're one of the bigger hitters. Cut the corner of the church pew bunkers. That leaves you with just a flip wedge in. Or you can take the safe route. Just go down the right side of the fairway. Let's do a low draw. Not curving quite as much as I would like, but I think. Oh, you got the green. She's coming easy right about now. Five straight birdies on the card and another beautiful tee shot here. That oh, came in the front right quadrant out. of the green today as he stares down his second. We definitely need to do spin. We're going to have to land at. Oof. We're going to have a lot of wind behind us, so... Um... Yeah, somewhere around there. That's a little bit short. Damn. Oh, man. We're not... Oh, I if we'd... Disappointed with that. If no, we'd... I mean, unless I check this in, I can't win. <laughs> Damn. Oh, wait. Maybe we'll get a, um... If I par this, maybe we'll have a, a playoff? Maybe. Um, spinner. Do a flop with spin. Okay, a little disappointing here at the finish, but still a tie atop the leaderboard. So now it's just time to see what transpires. Wait, who's? Oh man, they just couldn't find a way to bury oh. that seventy-second hole, Frank. And as a result, Keith Pol that Keith Rick makes and Mitchell managed to birdie oh. just one stroke behind. Oh. But it gave us a great watch. Well, I've got to thank them for uh, that, too. That so though. close. And you're right. They could have been. I mean, I didn't have a charge of five birdies in, the end, in a row. So. Uh, this is one of the best tournaments I've seen for a while. So, for Frank Nabilo, Notabagay the third, Iona Steven, and a cast of hundreds, I'm Rich Lerner. You've been watching PGA Tour Golf on EA Sports. So long, everyone. Wow. It was so close. Ah. <sighs> Another level. I've qualified for the Genesis Invitational. Well, thank you. Oh, now it's doing that thing again. Uh, okay, so we can go play Genesis Genesis Invitational. Um, we'll see about that. First of all, no, not that. Back out. I want to go to... Oh, actually, let's get rewards. Mode select? Wait. There you go. That's what I meant to do. Open those. Uh, rewards. Okay. Rewards. Now. What do we have as far as points are concerned? Seven? Hey. We can get the power approach. Do that. Okay. That's cool. 
All right, guys. Well, thank you very much. Um, sorry that we didn't win that one. That was sad. But we did qualify for the Genesis Invitational if we want to go play there. And maybe, hmm, maybe I should. Maybe I should play as many of these holes as I can so that I get enough experience so I can level up my character so I have a better chance of winning the majors. Um, where are we? Is this thing gonna still screw up? I wanna... Yeah, okay. I don't know why it does that. Anyway, it's almost like my, um... Like, my one of my analog sticks are, like, stuck, but it's not. So, I don't, I don't know why it does that. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me. We will see you in the next one. Take care.